To capture Microsoft Edge web browser and OBS, just go down to sources and hit the plus button that's right down here. And the capture method we're going to use today is window capture. Before you press that, make sure you actually have a Microsoft Edge window open. I've got one on my other monitor here. I'm just on google.com with it. Just drag that over to your other monitor or you can even minimize it and you can still capture that source. Plus button, window capture. Once you do this, I recommend naming it whatever the content is going to be for you. I'm just going to call it Edge for me for the tutorial today. And then here you're going to see every single window available on your computer with this drop down bar right here. Go ahead and select the window that is called msedge.exe and choose the one that has whatever content on it you want. Mine is Google. Boom. It should automatically, when you select it, pop up a preview of it here in OBS Studio. One option you can select is whether you want to have your cursor on or off or visible or not. For tutorials, I recommend leaving it on so people can see what you're doing. For any other type of content where you're just looking to get kind of a clean feed, uh, I don't recommend leaving your cursor on because it can look sloppy. I'm going to go to my Twitter feed here. And as you can see, as I freely browse around the internet, look at my Twitter feed, it updates automatically here in OBS so we know the capture is working properly. Hit OK. You can resize this window capture as you see fit. Move it anywhere you want. Make it tiny in the corner. Make it super huge if you'd like. One thing to note about window capture, though. Let me bring in the actual window I'm capturing. Notice how when I squish this window down and I resize it, the real-time one is here in yellow in the bottom right. It actually resizes it in real-time in OBS. So if you want it to be full screen, you need to maximize whatever that window is that you're capturing on one of your monitors or your main monitor. Okay? You can also crop, if you will, the content that you're showing audiences by literally resizing the actual window, the actual browser window, and it will crop in OBS as you can see. Okay. Let's say you screw everything up as you're planning, as you're trying to crop everything in OBS and your window gets jacked and goes to the side. One easy trick is to right click on that particular source, go to transform and do fit to screen. And it'll do as close to a full screen as it can based on the resolution of that particular source. And then you can more or less resize from there. As you can imagine, the possibilities here are endless. You can capture a presentation. You can even capture a video. You can show images, do a social media tutorial. You can do whatever you want. And look, if you want help with your technical items, one-on-one -on -one coaching is available on my website, awalldigital.com. Just schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. It's super, super easy. You just scroll down if you want, and you can select your day, select your time. You just enter in your basic information and pay, and boom, you've got a one-on-one -on -one video call with me, and I'm helping you through your technical items, your YouTube strategy, your social media strategy, whatever you may need help with. Link in the description below.